Welcome to YouTube. It's a joy and honor to have you all here. Part of what we want to do today is to better understand how we can use this platform to be able to do powerful storytelling. A lot of my stuff is kind of rooted in this idea that if we have the information and maybe people don't have it, maybe we can have these conversations better. I've been able to witness very closely how not only our stories, but the relationships and the commitment that's created through proximity can help ensure that others, much like us, can have another chance. I wanted to bring the faces of women in prison out because I knew that if people saw the things that were happening, that um, something would change. We can truly be a partner for people who are trying to find new audiences to talk about social justice issues. It's an ecosystem of great content out there, and if you're telling the right story and you pinpoint it to the right places, sometimes big things can happen. I had an unseen audience, but I was hoping to connect with someone, that someone would actually feel my story, who would hear my story, who would magnify my story, who would lift it up, and maybe get the attention of the decision makers who could make my freedom possible. There are young people everywhere who are sharing their narratives, sharing their stories, whose leadership is being recognized. I can't even imagine what we could do nationally if people come together, more exposure to people's stories, and what type of policy change can come from that. We wanted to create a space where crime survivors, I don't know, share their own experience and use their own voice in the space. How do you create content that moves people? And sometimes to do that, you have to bypass the information. Go to the heart, and that's what connects all of us. It is our commitment here to continue looking at and working on the issue of criminal justice reform. 